Assalamu alaikum friends I am sure some of your doubts regarding Sufism must have been cleared after listening my previous bayan on who am I Today I would like to shine some light on the details of tasawuf People think that tasawuf is a destination but my friends it's not so tasawuf is a journey towards god and in this journey there are some milestones you get closer and closer to your destiny after passing these to begin with the first one which is desire it is interlinked to the heart so these are two topic there are two topics to discuss today what are desire and why do we have desires a very important question so our heart keeps on beating since birth till death it's like an oscillating pendulum in other words our heart is never still it does not remain still because of our desires what is the root cause what is the problem the problem is why the heart is not still because of your desires it is also believed that human stomach can be filled up but not the heart the heart remains empty because it's like a vessel that has no bottom that is no matter how much you try to fill it it will ask for more and will never be filled up desire will never end my dear basically there are three categories of people based on desires so i'll be talking on these three categories so the first people want materialistic wealth they are busy for attaining it they want the world they want the money and they are running after it the other category is to achieve heaven heaven the other category of the people who are busy in attaining who are busy in worshiping god just for the sake of heaven and heavenly beauties now comes the third category which surprises man because they want only allah they want only god they try to achieve allah by analyzing meditating by fighting their souls by self investigating so they do a lot of hard work they do a lot of meditations now if i ask you to choose the best among the about three types i'm sure you will choose only one answer the ones who want allah the ones who want allah we know the reason here because allah is greater of all there is no wish greater than the wish to achieve god very important point there is no wish greater than the wish to achieve god means what when a great desire arises in your heart the small wishes vanishes on its own for example in presence of sun all the lamps get dim so the example is what in presence of sun definitely the lamps will get dim this does not mean that lamps have no light lights of the lamps hide in front of the sunlight no matter what your wish is that is even if you want allah you will not be satisfied until you give up that desire what i mean to say is the sufis used to say that tarke duniya tarke ugba tarke maula tark tar tarke duniya so first you have to understand you do you have to leave it from inside you are running after money you are working hard for your wealth but you have to skip that you have to leave it so first tark is tarke duniya then comes the second one tarke ugba which is called the heaven those who are busy in worshiping god but not with the heart just for the sake of achieving the heaven that is the problem and the third one is who want to achieve the god but i'll tell you in their heart in their entire life they have the desire of achieving a god they have to give it up that 
then only they can get satisfied so the third third you have to skip is allah to those who are having a desire of achieving allah achieving god they have to skip that they have to leave that also then again there is a tark tark so tark e duniya tark e ugba tark e maula tark tark yani yu be arzu jeene ki aadat karke de yani yu be arzu jeene ki aadat karke de means what you have to be remains empty remain empty but it's not easy my dear it's very difficult your wish to give up all your desire is also a desire your wish to give up all your desire is also a desire i say that this is the greatest desire in front of all the small small desire this is the bigger one your wishes get shed off by themselves when you stop or drawn in the nectar of life now the question arises that after doing all this will i come close to allah the question comes will i come close to allah to answer this i would like to consider an example of a traveler who travels thousands kilometer with his back turned towards the sun then how many kilometer he must travel in order to return to the sun nothing right he just needs to turn towards the sun similarly we need to just turn as allah is with us we have turn our backs towards him we don't need to search god we don't need to find out we don't need to reach somewhere allah is with us only we had to just turn our backs towards him that's it very simple thing now a very important next thing is importance of zikr why all sufis why in sufism all the sufis emphasizes on zikr meditation muraqaba so sufis declare that nobody can attain allah because he has always been with us we just need to remember his presence so my dear i want to tell you a very important point that meditation means remembrance because we don't we cannot find god because he is with us only we just need to feel his presence it's not about meditation is not about freezing our thoughts or to remove any thoughts or to sit on thoughts because lot of devotees also think that meditation is a, a state in which where we have to you know keep our thought empty we should not get any thought it's not like that my dear you don't need to freeze your thoughts you just need to remember you just need to feel the presence you have to analyze that is what call it as a meditation and meditation is a state in which our body and our heart become still your body as well as your heart at the same times become still but i am telling you again and again that when your heart going to be still when you are empty with the desires when you are empty with the desires so that is a main point and to do this we want energy we want energy as we want energy to for everything else if we want to reach allah then we need lot of energy as a car without fuel can't move same as the case for us now what are these sources of energies our body converts whatever we consume into energy i think all of you will be agree with this that whatever we consume it converts into energy as a car has a fuel tank our body has a x center which gathers energy that x center is nothing but your sex point our energy flows only in one direction that is it naturally goes downwards or towards our sex point center we should lift this energy towards a maqam e aqfa that is upward direction to the mother of brain which is called as a ummul dimag and in urdu we call it as a maqam e aqfa so here i'll mention you you can see this point this is called as a sex point and this is at the top is called as a maqam e aqfa ummul dimag so it is also proved that by scientists that entire energy of a human being is concentrated in x center we should bring this energy to the hidden point the path through which the energy travels is our backbone so you 
can see here in this slide that this is x center where if you want to lift the energy towards upward direction that is up to a makame akfa then it will travel through a backbone it will travel through a backbone it can travel upward to the hidden point i am talking about scientific facts here and when you successfully channelize your energy to move up you will observe that your character your action start to change according to your energy levels that means what when you do the meditation you will realize you will feel you many symptoms will express that your character will change your action will change start changing at that moment you can say that you are you are traveling in a correct direction you are going in a right direction so to understand this more clearly you need to go back to your childhood every child is born with x center in the other words sexual drive is hidden in every born child but they don't feel it unless the child becomes an adult an adult child will full of sexual urges how come such a change occurs suddenly in him means whenever when he was a child who when he was a child he was not having any symptoms or any signs or any sexual desire but when he came to the age of you know adult then he will starts feeling that so all this changes occur due to the moment in the sex power or x center similarly if there is a moment in your hidden point the same thing happens you will be filled with allah in a way similar to the way in which you were filled with sexual desires the day when your energies appear in your hidden point you will see nothing but allah you must think here how can we move our energies upward what is the procedure what is the way by what we have to do for this to lift your energy towards the center point so listen very carefully whenever sexual wishes form within you you close your eyes and direct all your energies with zikr who to your ummul dimag or hidden point so what you have to do you have to do the zikr who whenever you feel that desire so when the young person or a person who is in the age of 18 to 25 and those who are unmarried they feel some vibrations at the sex point so at that time what you have to do you just need to close your eyes and do the zikr who with full energy just think that the energies that were stroking your sexual desires downward are now going upward to your ummul dimag immediately you will feel that in few days you will observe result of doing so your concentrate will be depleted of energy your x center will be depleted of energy and you will feel that a hot thing move upward past your backbone you will feel that millions of ants are moving up you will start to feel heat as if a fire is raging upwards when this heat reaches our ummul dimag then energy part of your our body starts dancing with joy you will feel buzz in your mind this buzz is a good amen means it is a good sign it is it is a sign that energies have come to your hidden point come to your hidden point when this happens your existence starts to bloom your existence starts to bloom you will see light everywhere as millions of the suns have come together you live on earth but you don't walk on the grounds you feel flying in the skies but people see your foot on the ground people will see your foot on the ground everything becomes light as if the gravity of the earth is lost and then you will realize that the stories of the sufis that they sometimes move above the earth is true whoever lift his energy from soul ex center to his hidden point feels that he has risen from the earth if you continuously meditate and if the above phenomena occurs to you you will find that you you have lifted four palm lens above the ground but when you open your eyes you will find yourself on the ground itself this means that your spiritual body was flying 
means what your spiritual body was flying actually not the physical one physical body was on the earth only this you can experience within few days after med after starting meditation again a question comes what are the different ways by which we can lift our energies from x center to the makame akfa so there is one more way by which you can take all your energy to your hidden point via your mentor's imagination in tasawuf we call it as a tasawuf tasawure sheikh what we call it as tasawure sheikh so you should empty all your thoughts from your mind you should remember that nature does not tolerate emptiness nature does not tolerate emptiness that is why in sufism most of the sufis give their imagination that is called as a tasawure sheikh to the dot so that he can gather all his concentration or energy at one point because if you directly tell that dot that uh, yes uh, you just be calm concentrate or at one point so it's not possible because nature does not tolerate emptiness so i'll give you one example so you try to understand from this when you take out a bucket full of water from a pond the spot at which you have filled the water becomes a hole at this moment the rest of the water of the pond from all the four sides immediately comes to fill the hole this is nature this is nature you have to understand this that is the importance of mentor's imagination in sufism when you clear your mind of all your thoughts then immediately the energies of your x center run upwards run upwards there are jerks on your x center only two occasion you get the jerks vibrations on the x center only in two occasion one is when man look at a woman or vice versa the second occasion is the one in which you you exhale you exhale because there are only two conditions one is a inhale condition another is a exhale condition so with all your might means with all your efforts with your energy and with zikre hu zikre hu if you do this then your energy can lift towards maqam e akfa remember when this energy flows outward another person is born another person is born when this energy flows inwards when this energy flows inwards you are yourself are born yourself are born at this stage you will find out the secret of lam yalid wa lam yulad at this stage you will find out the secret of lam yalid wa lam yulad means what he begets not nor he is begotten he is beget not nor he is begotten so main motive of this lecture was how a person can lift his energy towards maqam e akfa that is called as a center point and why the human's heart is not still remain still so the reason behind is the desires so how we can uh, come to one point i have explain you if you have any doubts any queries you can ask me thank you very much thank you